Well, hi everybody. Welcome back to the Dahlia Society. Today I've got a lovely easy make jacket, probably the easiest jacket I've ever made in a beautiful boiled wool to show you. Now, before I get started, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, this is the perfect time to do so. Just hit that little notification bell and you'll also be alerted to when my newest episodes are arriving. Now, if you're like me and you prefer a lightweight jacket, especially heading into the autumn winter period when it's still not quite cool enough to wear a big heavy coat this is the perfect style for you for everybody in the northern hemisphere i know you guys are heading into your spring summer period but i'm sure there's still the occasional cool days that you will need to throw on a lightweight jacket this is a perfect style for that now if you're familiar with Tazuti patterns which i'm sure you are it's a fantastic australian based company with beautiful luxurious fabrics and some fantastic patterns i'm a huge Tazuti patterns fan i have quite just about every single one of their patterns apart from a few of the coats i just find them really classy really wearable i think they're flattering especially for women that want that easy wear casual kind of chic vibe um, that you can layer things with as well a lot of their patterns are made for being really transseasonal so i think it's fantastic i think they're really well drafted and i know that they've done an episode on love to sew talking i think colette was talking about her and her mum and the way they came up with a lot of patterns had have been hand drawn like the old-fashioned way as well so i just think that if you haven't got any tazuti patterns definitely jump over to their website and just have a look at the amount of um, beautiful wearable styles they've got and also the free patterns there to die for as well now one i've mentioned before was the mandy boat tea i'm sure you guys have all downloaded that already it was a free pattern there are various free patterns on their websites but there are also patterns that you need to pay for a lot of these patterns are very reasonably priced and they are so well drafted easy to make and really flattering styles on now today this is my new favorite jacket this is the berlin jacket and it comes in sizes extra small to extra large now i made the large i'm a, about a 14 and it was huge as far as length goes not so much in the width i'll just show you i'll stand back a little bit and i'll put some video footage in so you guys can see how it looks on and see the length that's with about 20 centimeters taken off and that's as i say i'm not really a short person i'm more of an average height so if you're wanting a jacket that's not this long you can quite easily alter that your pockets are sewn on um the on without any edging or hemming so you can see it's a really different way and a very easy way to sew a pocket i'll give you a little twirl Now, I'll get onto the construction of it in a minute, but I want to talk to you about the beautiful fabric it's in. This is a boiled wool. Now, for the Berlin jacket, it's recommended that you use a fabric that can be unfinished. I have unfinished hems, and that would be anything like a boiled wool, a felted wool, or a ponty knit, something of like that kind that you can leave the edges uh, unhemmed, and that is part of the feature of the garment. The felted wool comes up beautiful um, in an unfinished edge, which I'm sure you'll agree. It breathe. gives it a beautiful kind of raw finish, which I absolutely love. I think also, too, it can be made to be worn casual or dressed up and it's the sort of thing because it's so lightweight but it's warm um, you can throw it on over just about anything as far as a pair of jeans or a nice dress for example like the one I've got on here I've just done a review on last week it's the Ali and Mac uh, I love the 90s dress but yeah the thing I especially like about it is the fact that it can be worn through all seasons and that's the beauty of wool I'll get into a bit more about uh, speaking about the qualities of wool in a moment as well now if you've never sewn with wool before this is a fantastic uh, pattern to start with because it really is a lighter weight wool you can feel that insulating uh, property of that wool gives without the weight so I love that I don't want anything too heavy I think to have something that's in the back of your car you can grab and throw on that will give you that warmth and repel that rain that's exactly what I'm after yeah. I must say it's not a cheap fabric but it is quality and you don't want to be wasting any of this uh, fabric so when you are ordering your wool always check your fabric requirements this one in my size in particular needed 1.5 meters of a 150 width fabric if you've got a 130 width fabric you want to get about two meters i'll show you a little bit of footage i took when i was um, placing the pattern pieces it's very important to place the pattern pieces as the guide gives you so that you don't waste any fabric because yeah as i say it's a bit more of a pricier fabric so you don't want to be over ordering and wasting that so this is the berlin jacket and you'll see because the uh, wool is felted there is no need for doing any hems or edging so that way you've got a lot more facing pieces 
And also look at the direction of the grain of the um, fabric and also your pattern pieces need to be placed accurately. So it has got a few um, pattern placement uh, images on the pattern itself. And I took about nine centimeters off the bottom of mine. I didn't want it uh, extremely long, which it normally is quite a long jacket, but that's totally um, up to your personal preference. And you will see that you have to be really careful about um, placing your pieces so you get the most out of your fabric and they do give you a good diagram for that as well so you can see it's a very unique style the pattern itself I've never quite seen anything like that with that unfinished hems and edges and it kind of goes against everything you're taught uh, when you're sewing as far as putting right sides together and sewing first this one in particular uh, you f need to follow your instructions and it's not complicated at all it's actually very easy and I would recommend a beginner to sew this jacket over any other coat I've made before I think it's more simple and the pattern instructions are so well thought out and so well illustrated well everything's actually got photos there so you can see as far as constructing it how they've done it yeah, I would always recommend using a walking foot for any kind of coat making and it just makes the job so much easier because you've got that suspension in your foot and it will just glide through I found that there actually there wasn't any issue at all with sewing the fabric it just sewed up absolutely perfectly now we're getting back to the alterations I made to the pattern I um, use a straight size large on five foot six or one 68 centimeters and I found the length it was quite a long jacket so I didn't want it as long as it uh, had actually um, the pattern pieces were so I took about 20 centimeters off the length and the beauty of this having an unfinished hem is that you can always alter it at the end if you find the length is still too long for you you can still simply just chop that length off the bottom because there's no hemming so how easy is that the only thing I came a little bit unstuck with which I've quite easily fixed was the sleeves and when I was laying my pattern pieces out I knew that I'm actually I always find that a lot of the coats are too long for me in the arm so I took about 10 centimeters off and you'll see the um, lengthening and shortening guide there so I automatically took that off and then when you sew it up at the end I would recommend don't do what I did I actually finished it off then tried it on it's pretty silly um, what I recommend is I would try the jacket on with the sleeves unfinished without putting the facings on first see if you got the length right in the arm and then Put your facings on because the sleeves came down to my fingertips they were really long so yeah i would suggest shortening the sleeve and look it's the sort of jacket you could just do so much with you could really shorten the sleeves to half the length if you wanted more of that kimono shaped sleeve you could even do this in a vest i think it would work perfectly in a vest because you don't have any of those finished uh, seams. I'll give you a little bit of a look up close at how the ball will looks it's got almost like that boucle effect that felted wool effect so i'll just hold it up and you can see you can almost see through parts of it, but it's incredibly warm and it's incredibly drapey as well, which is fantastic for a, a jacket because you don't always want that stiff looking uh, wool. I think that the uh, the board wool is brilliant. Now, as I said, I've got mine from Fabric Deluxe in Melbourne. They've got a brilliant online store that's still operating and still posting out and they are getting a huge range of new colors in as well in the next week or so so hop online i will link their shop below you'll get some fantastic service um, they post out really quickly and yeah some beautiful quality fabrics on there so i would really suggest looking on there because i found the biggest range of royal wool around where i live was all online there at fabric delight other online shops i know that do sell boil wool that have a lovely variety as well is tazuti which is actually the where i got the pattern from tazuti have their fabrics they have boil wool and also potter and co in perth in western australia have a beautiful range uh, a fantastic range of wool fabrics as well so but make sure you look for the felted or boiled wool not necessarily like a cashmere or any kind of wool that still needs to be finished off because you really need to have that edges that can be left unfinished that won't fray it's very important because normally your facings are done right sides together and you flip it on the inside these facings are done um, you put your pieces together and you'll sew along your edge stitching and along your inside uh, of the, the facing as well so totally different to what you're used to but really easy when you're constructing your facings around your neckline and your shoulders you'll see you need to overlap about three eighths of an inch right side to wrong side so when you have that edge together you create that seam and you stitch through the middle of that um, that section so you'll stitch right through where the three eighths of an inch overlaps and that will then give you your seam so it's um it's an incredibly easy style but yeah really unique and really different as well when you are putting it together you'll find because you're not traditionally um, you, you do things right sides together with this you're doing wrong side to right side so 
um, you'll use like three eighths of an inch of the edge of the fabric. You'll pin it um, wrong side to right side and then you'll sew along that and that will just give you your seam and it will be like a raw seam. So it kind of goes against the traditional way we sew, but it's really easy and it gives a beautiful finish as well. Does it, do you have a few other boiled wool style jackets that you can actually make? One of them in particular is the Florence, and I know that one has got a bit of bigger size range. I think they go to about a size 22. That is a really long line coat that you can make. I think it would come up beautifully. Wool in particular is a bit different to care for. As for your other fabrics, you might find that you can just uh, hand wash them with wool. You don't want to be doing that unless there is a real need for doing that. And of course, the best way to, to clean your woolen garments, because they're a natural fiber and they are prone to holding quite a lot of water. Best way they say to look after your boiled wool garment is to hang it in the bathroom when you're having a shower and let that steam um, encompass the garment and it will actually help sweat out any odors or any kind of smells that you want to uh, remove from your garment. So if you hang that in a bathroom that is the best way to to kind of treat your wool without washing like it. Wool is such an amazing fabric because it can hold like three times its weight in water. It also so repel water so you if you're wearing a garment and you get a light dusting of rain you won't even feel it you can just air it it's out. It's got unique properties as far as um, being uh, insulative and is I say water repellent as well so it's a fantastic garment to wear of course it's not heavy it's really lightweight but also gives you that warmth as well so I'm loving uh, wearing natural fibers and linen is much the same as far as wearing it how it just feels beautiful against the skin the boiled wool there's no reason why you couldn't line a coat with boiled wool pattern like this I really think that you don't need to do that because it's part of the feature of the garment is having that unlined raw edge look and yet yeah, there's no finishing off of any of the hems if you're going to press wool, make sure you use a pressing cloth and a light steam so don't put the iron directly onto your woolen garment. Very careful with that because you don't want to leave an imprint or scorch the wool. So it's kind of made me want to get more into the natural fibres and the woolen garment. As I say, it's beautiful to wear. If you don't have anything woolen in your wardrobe, definitely look into it. There's so many beautiful woolen uh, fabrics around as far as lightweight. Things like merino as well is beautiful to wear because it's lightweight but also keeps the warmth in. And Everyone heading into spring and summer too, a little uh, lightweight merino um, blend top is a perfect thing to be transitioning into different seasons. I'd love to have a few different coloured uh, boil wool jackets or vests just to, to throw on over my um, casual kind of garments, even to wear with jeans and that kind of thing. So yeah, really happy with the pattern and really happy with the fabric. You can really splurge on having something a bit more unique and special and yeah, be really, really careful with the way you place your pattern pieces so you're getting the, um, every inch out of that fabric so you don't waste any at all. I'd be really interested to make this in a ponty. I think a ponty jacket like this would be a fantastic kind of thing to have in the wardrobe especially for wearing over sweatpants or jeans or something a bit more casual but the fact is it's, it's just so comfortable and easy to move in um, I think something like this it just um, it's more freeing than having a big lined coat um, but also having the warmth there makes it a fantastic uh, essential to your wardrobe and don't forget Tazuti Fabrics have a beautiful range of Liberty of London fabrics. I've ordered a beautiful Liberty fleece off, off Tazuti just recently and I've had a lot of comments, people saying how much they love that fabric in the latest fabric haul video I showed. Um, yeah, so if you're wanting something a bit more unique and special and just a little bit of luxury, Tazuti is the place to look for that fabric as well. And also don't forget to pop on over to Potter & Co if you're wanting to support a little small business that has some beautiful, unique um, gorgeous lightweight wools and silks and linens as well a lot of natural fibers they seem to specialize in which uh, and they're a very very good price range as well so i'll be ordering off them very shortly um, i just love their their range of natural fibers so definitely check them out so i hope you're all keeping well keeping safe and staying at home because we are all going to get through this lockdown together and the more we sew the more things we create i think it does a lot for your mental health and keeps you inspired keep keep the hands busy and um, i will see you very shortly for a new episode if you like this episode don't forget to give it a thumbs up and i'll be back with more creations very shortly bye for now